Okay, folks, so when I say wolf pack, I need you to give me a wolf's howl and then to start gathering up like a wolf pack, but making sure that we're standing six feet apart from one another, okay? So, wolf pack, oh, wolf pack, oh, wolf pack, oh, brilliant stuff, folks. How's it going? It's Pat here from Asphalt Green's Recess Enhancement Program, here with another instructional video for you, this time for our game, Hungry Wolf. Before we hop into any game though, we of course always want to start with a safety check. So before we start any game and after we finish any game, we want to make sure that everyone is washing their hands with soap for at least 20 seconds. We also want to make sure that at no point is anybody putting their hands near their face. If anybody has to cough or sneeze, they're doing the most natural motion and just doing it right into their elbow, right? So if they have to cough or sneeze, coughing or sneezing into the elbow. We also, of course, wanna make sure that we are maintaining a proper social distance at every point. So we always wanna make sure that we are at least six feet apart from one another, okay? Once we've done our safety check though and we feel comfortable with it, I just need you to give me two claps and let's get started on Hungry Wolf. So folks, the name of the game, as mentioned, is Hungry Wolf, right? What's the name of the game? Oh, what's that? Oh, in wolf speak, that's Hungry Wolf. That's right, folks. And Hungry Wolf is a great game to play with students of any age and students of any ability level, all right? So students from kindergarten up through eighth grade, all right? Though it par works particularly well with younger students. As to where you can play the game, you're going to want to play it in an area that allows for students to line up standing six feet apart from one another and then allows them to move forward a good distance, right, while maintaining that social distance of six feet, okay? So we would suggest you play it in a hallway, in a playground, or maybe in a gymnasium, all right? With safety in mind, as mentioned, as students will be able to maintain social distance so long as they're playing in a space that allows them to do that, all right? And there's no equipment that's needed for this game other than, you know, laying down cones or tape for boundaries. So students won't be sharing any items or touching the same things, which again, makes the game super, super safe, all right? As I always like to say, fun is a byproduct of safety. So since the game is super, super safe, the game is also going to be super, super fun. But aren't all rep games, right? But anyway, let's get into the details of Hungry Wolf, all right? And in order to do that, we'll do what we always do, and that is rep it out. So we'll start with R and talk about how we can get ready for Hungry Wolf. So the first thing that you're going to want to do in order to get ready to play Hungry Wolf is to map out your play area to designate the boundaries of that play area, okay? As mentioned, you might want to think about playing this game in a hallway out on the playground or in a gymnasium, right? Because you're gonna have students line up and they should be lining up standing six feet apart from one another and they'll be moving forward from that line, right? So wherever you can maintain that social distance while doing those things, that's a great area to play in, all right? Then once you've found that play area, you can visually mark off where you want your boundaries to be so that when you lay out equipment later on, you can just lay down cones and tape right there, all right? Before we do that though, we wanna make sure that we're doing a safety sweep of the play area. So you wanna remove any items that might pose a safety risk to students while playing, and you might wanna have a think about how you can work around any items that can't be moved, okay? Then once you've finished that safety sweep, you can take out the equipment, which might be cones or tape or anything that you wanna to use to mark off boundaries, and you can lay out that equipment, but you won't need anything extra for this game, okay? So. Once you feel comfortable with your play space, you've mapped it out, you've got the boundaries marked off by equipment and you feel that it's super, super safe, well, then you can move on to gathering your students up on that line that you, that you have as your starting line, all right? And you can use the attention grabber that I used at the beginning of this video to help you do that, all right? So you can say to the students, when I say wolf pack, I need you to give me your best wolf howl and then line up on the starting line standing six feet apart from one another. All right, so wolf pack, ooh, wolf pack, ooh, wolf pack, ooh. And you can have students doing that all while they're starting to line up on the starting line. And then once they're finished, you can hop into your explanation of Hungry Wolf.
So, as when explaining any game, when you're explaining Hungry Wolf, you want to make sure that you're using a loud and clear voice so that all students can hear and understand you. And you also want to be asking students specific questions about the instructions you're delivering while you're delivering them, okay? That way you can check for their understanding and you can also clarify anything that maybe you weren't super clear on. So some questions we would suggest you ask is, well, what happens when the wolf says it's dinner time, right? And how do we know how many steps we're supposed to take? Those questions will make a little bit more sense as we go into the actual instructions of the game. So how about I do that now and you follow along on your PDF copy of those instructions or follow along on our website. So the first rule of Hungry Wolf is something that you will already have students doing, and that is to line up standing on the starting line and standing six feet apart from one another, okay? You can then explain to the students that to start off, you are the wolf and they are the bunnies, okay? And you can explain that as the bunnies, they need to ask you, the wolf, what time it is, right? And there's a certain way of doing that. So they have to say, hungry wolf, hungry wolf, what time is it? Then you, as the wolf, will tell them a certain time, right? And depending on what time you give them, that's how many steps they are going to take forward, okay? So... Say, for instance, they say, hungry wolf, hungry wolf, what time is it? And you say, hmm, four o'clock. Every student on the line will need to take four steps moving forward while maintaining that proper social distance, okay? So the students will continue to ask, hungry wolf, hungry wolf, what time is it? And you as the wolf will continue to tell them times. But there will come a moment where you as the hungry wolf will say to them when they ask, hungry wolf, hungry wolf, what time is it? You will look at them and say, dinner time, right? And when you say dinner time, all of the bunnies have to rush back to the starting line and you as the wolf will need to run back and race those bunnies to the starting line while maintaining a proper social distance of six feet, okay? If you as the hungry wolf beat any of the bunnies back to the starting line, those bunnies then become wolves themselves, all right? And then they will help you the next round to race bunnies back to the starting line, all right? And the game will end once every bunny has become a wolf, all right? And that is Hungry Wolf. So that's an explanation of the rules for Hungry Wolf. So how about we talk a little bit about how we can play the game so that students are abiding by those rules how we can play the game so as to keep students engaged and interested in it, all right? Before we can do that, though, I think we need to gather up into our wolf pack. So when I say wolf pack, I need you to give a wolf's howl and to gather up while maintaining a proper social distance of six feet, okay? So wolf pack, a woo, wolf pack, a woo, wolf pack, a woo. Let's gather on up, gather on up. Brilliant stuff, wolf pack, absolutely brilliant stuff. All right, so the first thing that we would suggest is something that we typically suggest, and that is to practice, right? Have a practice round. So you wanna get students comfortable with the stepping forward only based on the number that the hungry wolf is given, right? So we wanna make sure that they understand that when the hungry wolf says it's five o'clock, that they're only taking five steps, okay? So we wanna remind them of that. And we also wanna remind them to be maintaining the proper social distance while they're doing that, okay? So making sure that they're always staying six feet apart. So do a practice round at the very beginning um, so that students get comfortable with the game and the concept of it and comfortable with maintaining social distance while playing it, all right? Once you feel comfortable though, you can hop into the game and then you can add in some different challenges to make it interesting and engaging for them, all right? So maybe to start off, you have students walking right? They're walking whenever they take the steps and they're walking back to the starting line when the hungry wolf says dinner time, right? Maybe the next round though um, is having students skip. So maybe students are skipping when they're taking their steps and then they're skipping back to the starting line and the hungry wolf is skipping back um, when they're racing them, right? And then maybe round three could be running, right? So students are running those few steps forward 
and then they're running back to the starting line while the hungry wolf is racing them back while running also, okay? You can add in any different type of movement, right? Whatever you feel most comfortable with, whatever allows students to maintain social distance, whatever allows them to keep active, and whatever allows them to have fun, okay? So we're at the end of our tip list, which means that we're at the end of the rep model and therefore the end of our video, okay? Before we sign off though, I think we need to gather up as a wolf pack one more time. So when I say wolf pack, you give me a wolf's howl and gather on up, all right? So wolf pack, ooh, wolf pack, ooh, wolf pack, ooh. Brilliant stuff, wolf pack. So let's gather up while standing six feet apart from one another, all right? While we're doing that, I just want to say thank you. Um, I hope you found the video useful. Uh, I hope you have a great time, have a fun time playing Hungry Wolf with your students. Uh, and I ask that you just stay tuned for more instructional videos from us here at Asphalt Green. And we'll catch you the next time.